One of the things that's so important for us all to treasure are the ancient sounds and ancient songs that the indigenous peoples of the world have preserved no matter what they're facing. They preserve the oldest songs of the planet and the essential great song that we're all participating in. The great song that creates what we see comes from the dream time. In our collective memory, we may have forgotten the song that is being sung and it underlies everything, but it is still ongoing and it is still from the dream time. But it's now time for us to reconnect to that song, become light in our spirits and experience the dream time for ourselves without having to die to find it. From a long, long time ago, when first light was created, we was taught these songs, these dances, these movements of the understanding of who we are, what we are. En mi tradición no hay grandes canciones ni hay pequeñas canciones. Simplemente hay cantos, cantos a la vida, cantos a la tierra, y cantos al amor. Cantos a la celebración de la cosecha. Incredible sounds. The uh, 
And then of course where I come from, where the big ice is, a very big chunk of ice, or the big ice of Greenland, shifted for a moment. And the scientists were very excited to realize that the ice is really moving. But the native people got more excited because they heard a language no one has heard before. But it's a sound which no one ever heard before. A great way that this is expressed is in J.R.R. Tolkien's The Silmarillion, you know. At the beginning of his great work, um, The Lord of the Rings, he talks how in this magical world that he created, the whole world began through music. Um, that in this uh, mythology that he creates, life comes into being through song. Ilavatar sings this song and the whole of Middle Earth uh, kind of begins to exist. And I think that's a beautiful way of thinking about um, how important song that has been, is and will always be, is to us as human beings. It's from sound and not light that all things come into the cosmos. That sound doesn't merely give life to all things, but it lives as the life within all things at every moment. Ultimately, that sound will come alive in us, and then, having discovered the sound, then you can share that song with the world. It always just brings tears in my eyes. It is like a journey to a different world. And I'm very thankful that that other world exists. The sacred music I've set are on time-tested texts that have been around for centuries and centuries and centuries. And I think that they have a universal appeal. I don't think one has to be a church-going person to relate to these texts. I mean, look, we talk about light. We talk about goodness, you see. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. O oh, great mystery and wondrous sacrament that animals should see the newborn Lord lying in the manger. O oh, great mystery. Life's a mystery.
There is a great song. That song is the personification of compassion, of mercy, of love. And that song is being sung all the time. In the Sufi tradition, we do the zikr, the chatting. So we sing the song of God, the harmony of God, the harmony to bring the heart together. The whole idea of chanting and sacred chant is to remember to the source where we come from and also the Hasidic tradition that I come from and the Sufi tradition also teach that when we do the sacred chant, it's also polishing the mirror of the heart. So this is why we try yeah. to get Arabs and Jews to do zikr together because that's how we polish the heart of both. It's an unbelievably beautiful Hasidic tradition. of What did Moses hear on Mount Sinai over the 40 days that he was there getting the great wisdom and the Torah to be able to teach the people? And the teaching is that he received 600,000 individual melodies, each uh, a different melody for each of the 600,000 people that was waiting for him. And redemption will come, says this Hasidic master, when every single human being can discover his or her particular melody revealed at Mount Sinai. <laughs> There is really only one song, and it's the great song, it's the cosmic song. It's the song that all things and all animals and all plants and all humans sing in their deepest heart. And every song that a human sings with his or her voice is only an expression of that one great song uh, that is there from the beginning and will be there after the end. The great song, the great sound comes out of silence, or, or it isn't a great song. If you listen deeply to the silence within, then you find that song. It's a great song. It's a continuity of spirit in life through the various generations coming from ancient time and passing into the future. It's, it's so to say, it's a, it's a flow of life in us and among us and it's, it's a kind of stream that uh, gives life also sense. So to me, the great song is manifested in the way people live and what they hold in their hearts and how much they care, the ways that they care, and often, spontaneously, in vocal emissions which we are more familiar with as song. And when that song is heard, whether it's Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, or it's John Lennon singing Imagine, or it's St. Francis praying to his God, when that song spontaneously emerges, many people resonate with it. Not because of the individual act of genius, although clearly genius is involved, but because there's something deeper, something that resonates with each of us. And I think that resonance is with that great harmony. One great song which connects everybody all over the world is the mother's lullaby to a child because uh, wherever uh, it is, it is the mother's uh, uh, lullaby which she holds 
the affection which she gives to the child, the feeling of comfort, togetherness, I mean total care and the child feels very comfortable and uh, can trust and uh, be free of any uh, fear is the best song I feel. We're one, one part of one great story. Everybody is one, one part of one great song. Everybody is one. Breathing is the music of life, so I'm encouraging you. Okay, right now, you and I, me together. I just did an aria. Take a breath, sing a song. There you go.